Go ahead, Southern Coin Hunter. Uh, just to show y'all something, one of the things I do do, I like to buy, and I bought this for me. It's from Littleton Coin Company, where they take the half dollars. I know it's it's a novelty item. But this is our state bird of Louisiana with the state flower and the magnolia painted. I like these kind of coins. Just I don't buy them all. But occasionally I do have a friend or two that ask me, hey, you know where you get a painted coin at? One of the guys at work, son-in-law, I think, is from South Carolina. So he must give this to his son-in-law. So I got him that. This came in today. From Milton Coin Company, they, they do these kind of things. It's just a novelty item. I mean, I'm not, not looking for, for an investment. It's something to have. But the reason why I'm here today 10 rows of pennies. I've already weighed them out to save some time. Because it seems to take forever to get everything weighed out. So, I got them rolled up, numbered, with the weights. Now, I, I can slide the spreadsheet over and show you all the spreadsheet after I get done. So, we're going to do the first one live. As a hunt. I got my... Stuff set up, discords, copper, and here we go. I'm trying to do it where I can see it through the camera. 64, we got one copper. This I'm putting this in the change from this past weekend, 2021. We're on two rolls. And this year challenge the other creators to do the same thing. Got a point system set up for it. You look at my video on that, you can see what the points are if anybody wants to do it. And leave a comment what your finds are. Go for it. It's got to be two rows, machine wrap. No customer wrap rolls at all. Now, what I look for are the 2017 piece, 2009, wheats, coppers. I usually go back to these later and look for any type of clashes or anything like that. Uh, the wide AMs, the close AMs. No, uh, this is easier. I can see it a little bit better like this. Like a 70s, I'll verify that later. So, after this, I just I was, I'll pause the video, hunt, and then bring back y'all back in at each row hunt. The ring of death on this one 2019. There you are. Now, I do weigh all 82 pennies. Got another copper. There's a transitional gear. So they got some zinc. Here's a 70S. Is that two 70S's now? This 1970S. Here's a 70D. Eighty-eight. I'll check that one later for the uh, reverse of nine. Ninety-seven. I got. Got to remember, my lenses are right here. Thirteen. Coins I do not understand, no way. That's the zinc. So the copper, 74 Denver. So we're up to five of those. So I pick up some of the better of the zinc scents. They've still got some brightness left in them. Um, trying to put some rolls together. 
Perman tubes. These are two are zinc. Two thousand seven. You know these are shield sense. I'm looking for the twenty seventeen P's. Twenty twenty. Twenty D. I literally got this lens literally six inches from the tabletop, the camera. Twenty sixteen D. I'm going to pick out the bright bright and shiny ones. I mean, I may they may have some some contact marks in them. But I will go through them later. Narrow them down. Try to get rid of the ones without the spots. You know, keep those. Get them rid of the ones the spots from, from the rents. Which to me, I could think they need to do better. Five, eighteen, twenty, twelve, and twenty-two. That's the first row. So we have with five coppers. Going to roll number two. These are all custom wrap rolls I got. So I'm telling what you will find with custom wrap rolls. Like Friday, I found that dime. Oh, yeah, five. Nineteen. 271s, I guess 271 D's, so it's two coppers. Let's weigh that one. And that's zinc. Zinc. Oh, zinc. Zinc. I was looking for cuds. I haven't found a cud yet in the more modern pennies. Where is the cud? It cuts stuff off on the rim. And as a as a die gets used, it progresses into the fields. That's a, that's what a cud is. I'll link it to I get ready to process this. I'll link a description. Showing you how to determine the, the cud. 2017. 98D. It's the Philly Minute ones that had the white AEM on those. Except for the 92D has a close AEM on with the Philly. reason why I weigh out, I'm just trying to see how much copper there is, and then we'll see what it is a year from now. Because, you know, we're getting close to the end of the year, and the, 20, 2004, the 2024s will be coming out. So it'll be cool to see the more, each year it's going to dilute the copper more and more per hunt. That's a 64. Like we're gonna start getting the 2023 20, coins in circulation down here in Louisiana to maybe June. There's a 67. We're up to six coppers on that one. So we're up nine minutes. Oh, there we go, 27. 
17 Philly. I got five rows, but I'm trying to sell the best of all the five rows into one tube. Fatty chewed up copper. Zinc sense. I should, I should say zinc, not copper. A3 has a no FG on it. I found one of those so far since I started doing this. So. So the, we got one 2017, I think that's, yes, yeah, this row. So we got six coppers. So I'll put that over here on the scope. Going to row number three, this is 126. Zinc. We're gonna call it the dates. 83. I think y'all can see what I'm looking. Yeah, y'all can see it. 2019. 2022. Some really nice looking coins in here. I'm starting to sell some, some of the better ones. Into rolls, into tubes. I've actually ordered a storage box that holds 50 tubes. And here's one that's off struck center. See how wide that rim is? So this is a misaligned die strike because the reverse looks okay. But also looks like you got struck at an angle. This is real deep on this side. And deep on this side so that is a fine I have to figure I have to get somebody to tell me what kind of strike that is see if I can figure it out on my own I don't know maybe broad struck hey Blue Ridge if you see this video it's a 91 zinc it's deep around this broad struck side. On the reverse, it's kind of deep. If you see this video, can you tell me what it is? I may send it to the live Q&A, but it's going to be hard for y'all to tell without really holding it in their hand. There's an 81. Let's see, I'm going getting nothing but zincs. Boy, this one got chewed up. That's a park. This one looks like a parking lot coin. Hey, too, some gunk on it. Uh, I need to get that gun off so I can wait, get a proper weight on it. I know I shouldn't be cleaning coins, but that little bit can make a big difference in the weighting of the coin. This copper. Uh, 2017 P. That'll be our second one of the hunt. Now 
Once I get a nice tube of the 2017Ps, I want to fill up a tube of 2017Ds. And I may sell them as a pair on whatnot. I'm trying to build up some stock for selling on whatnot right now. I can't tell what that is. It's copper. I don't know when I'm going to do it. Hopefully soon, because it'd be good to have a little extra money for the holiday season. So I've been building up inventory. That's I already looked at that one. Now we have some foreign paper currency, probably. But we got our first 2009. Philly, not the best shape. No, Denver. But the presidential year. You can tell by looking at the the return of the of the Capitol House being built. That was built. That was actually taken from the actual design from the Civil War. So that was Denver. Let's see how many coppers I end up with? Five. I wish it was fifty-six copper. Well, it would not be right. Still no wheat scent. <clears throat> Let's go up there. Oh, sorry, you moved the camera. Shouldn't have moved anyway. Now we've got the red rolls. Oh, God, we got so far 16 copper coins out of this deal. Now, if the coins are used properly, the, the zinc colored ones do age and they look very close to the true copper coins. I don't know if anybody's noticed that. Copper, 78 Denver, now the Philly in 2017, could that be a double ear on 84? Nope, 84 has a nice double ear variety on him. Keep looking for the cat's eye on the twenty, on the on the twenty twenties, twenty nineteen. You get that, you get you might have a double die. You just have to research it. Twenty nineteen has a double ear on him. I think that's supposed to go in twenty fourteen. I don't remember. So, oh, get me y'all back over to. 2020. Now that's a nice red brown 68. This is an 81. But look how bad it's chewed up. Nineteen eighty, we got four coppers now. Sixty nine Denver. Faint FG, but it looks like I got another floating roof. I'll look I'll look at that. We'll look at that in a little bit underneath the scope and see. Another Road Rage Penny. That's copper. 
Yeah, I saw and I picked it up. Sixty eight chewed up, but we're up to six coppers now. Zinc rot. I pull those out of circulation. Nobody else needs to be hunting those. I hate the something I hate about the zinc pennies. And people predicted that when they said they were switching to it. These are all zinc eight. Let's see if we got. I do like to check the eighty eights for the reverse of G. Reverse of nine. Nope. Twenty ten. The first shield is shield sent. So we got our totals here. We got a possible floating roof. It gives us seven coppers. I won't put it in here because I I'll sort it back out later. The seven coppers. Wrong cell. No, twenty seventeen. P added to the board. I'll tell you what. Well, I have to do it for the final weigh-in. So, so far, not bad. We got a couple, three, what, 2017 P's and one 2009. I keep hitting this, and it should be turning. And that weight was 129.5. Huh. I got more than the 131.2 and the 131.6. This is 130.2. Y'all want to see me do this in my hand? Nice, bright, shiny 1980. This, there's a two for those also. Just curious on the 2004. Nope. I'm just doing a quick check. You never know you might find a split on the letter or something. Seventy five. Eighty two. There's a copper, and there's a large date. I want to add some videos on there in the description about the large date, small date on 82. You know, I think I can add that on there, copy it. See, I'm, I'm practicing it doing this. Twenty eighteen D. Sixty three Denver. Also, learn something else. Since we're talking about coins, up until they did a switch around with going from. Z Silver to clad. Proof sets were made 
Got a 68S. Means I was made in San Francisco. Proof sets prior to 1965 were minted in Philadelphia. Now, I've been staring at this coin I had for years. It's a 63. After getting the SMS set, I, oh, 2017 Philly, I realized what I had. I actually had a proof nickel I found in circulation. Look at how bad this one's tore up. So uh, now I got to put up as a proof someplace. Not knowing that I had a proof at the time. So I think I got when I was probably seven, 11 or 12 years old. 12, uh, probably in 7th and 8th grade. I got that nickel. I could have got an eye change. I don't know where I, when I got it. I don't see no snake eyes on the zeros. On the pennies, if you start seeing snake eyes on the zeros, good chance you got a double die. Sometimes it could be just a miss. So we got what? Uh, eight. Got one. Very nice 1980. Okay, we're on to roll number six. 129.2. I expect a lot of zinc out of this one. Shoot up zinc. I'm not expecting any wheat pennies since this is a customer rolled wraps. Remember last week I got two of them. Now from a two row challenge I did get a wheat penny out of that but this does not count for these. Guys, I'm trying to remember to do this underneath the lens. 85. Look, a little girl got a hold of that. Look at all the green markings. Markers on there. That's a 73. The only way I hunt is I pick them up and just look at them. Nothing there. 82. Oh, scale went off. Hold on. The scale went off. Okay, that's copper. There have been times in the past where I thought I wasn't going to get any, any copper and I got a couple of pieces out of a roll. Well, formative years, we got our second 2009. Minute in Philly. So let's see if we got, let me see if I got any extra fingers on this one. Uh, oh yeah. We got one of the varieties. I'll show y'all at the end of the video. Hmm. 
Got a notification on the YouTube channel pop up. To the copper. That's why I use a scale. You can't tell what's on this damn design because it's environmental damage. That's a copper. I don't know what year it is. Okay. It actually looks like there's a die chip on the book. I want to. Let me go to Variety Vista on the 2009s. I'm going to go ahead and bring it brought up. So we got five, six coppers, which is a lot because I was not expecting that many. No 2007s. Okay, Friday Vista. Oh, that's a DDR. That the wrong thing. No, that's no, that's just the book. So I'm looking. I'm scanning. I'm scanning. Yeah, I found it. Okay, I'm flipping y'all up so y'all can see this. Hard to get this just right because of the way the camera's sitting. So if y'all look right there, it's exact same photo. Uh, hold on. <laughs> 